Hello, I'm back with another one. We're making catfish, grilled catfish. So quick, so simple, so easy, so delicious. Look at that. Let's get started. We're using one catfish for this recipe and it has been washed. I have other catfish recipe pepper soup videos and in those videos, which I am going to be linking here, I show you how to wash your catfish. So first of all, we made some incisions. I've done that already off camera, but I left one part to show you how to make them. Your butcher can help you cut out all the other parts of the fish that you do not want. Next, we're going to prepare a first layer marinade for the sauce. And I'm going in with some Asian seasoning. You can use any seasoning of your choice. Maggi, nor cube, anything you have available. I went in with a dash of salt, just a little salt, some curry powder, some thyme, I'm going to be using some balsamic vinegar for this recipe. If you do not have balsamic vinegar, go ahead and use some lemon juice or some lime. I'm adding some fish sauce <laughs> just because it's fish, right? Oh yes, it adds a lot of flavor. Some oyster sauce is a seafood affair, I know. I'm going to mix all of that together until every single ingredient is well combined. Next, we're going to take this marinade and rub it over our fish inside, outside, and you want to rub that thoroughly until it is well absorbed. And after we do this, we're going to wrap this and keep in the fridge for about two hours. You can do this overnight for the tastiest fish ever. Since I tried this recipe, this is the only way I enjoy catfish. Okay, not the only way, but my favorite way of making grilled catfish. And it's so, so good. You're going to love it. Keep watching because we have another layer of marinade that will take this recipe to the next level. Next, I got some chili pepper, onions, scallions, and some scotch bonnet pepper, and of course, some carrots. Carrots are completely optional. You can use potatoes or anything, but I just want some vegetable with my fish because I want it as a complete meal. I blended all of that together, not the carrots anyway, and we're going to go ahead I blended it and I added some oil. Yes, blend it with some oil. I use some canola oil, use avocado oil, olive oil, or any oil of your choice, or vegetable oil. So you add it to your pepper and you blend. So I now have this dry marinade, the, the other wet marinade, and we're going to go ahead and mix that. Add a little bit of salt. I've lost the footage of that. I would have shown you. So we're going to rub all of this in on around underneath above our fish until everything is well coated so while this is going on go ahead and preheat your oven to about 400 degrees now i'm using my bare fingers for this but be careful you can use go ahead and use some gloves <laughs> If you can't stand pepper on your hands, this pepper is a little bit tolerable, but if you're using the really hot, 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 spicy, spicy, then please go ahead and use a glove or something. Now, don't rush this process because it's so crucial that you get your marinade into the fish. Catfish that is not well seasoned and marinated tastes 
bland. You will not enjoy it. But for maximum satisfaction and tastiness, if there is a lot like that, make sure you take your time. That is why I'm taking my time to show you this process. And we want to add our carrots at this point. I'm going to layer with some onions. Don't skip the onion part because it has it has an extra flavor that it adds to this grilled catfish. After 20 minutes, ooh, just look at our fish. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It looks so amazing. It's piping hot, it's well cooked. At this point, you can go ahead and eat your fish. But I want me, my catfish, to still absorb more of such flavors, to grill until it's a bit dry on top and wet on the end, I tell you. So I am going to take off the foil at this point and I'm removing some of the delicious umami liquid and I'm braising the top of the fish yet again and we're going to add an extra something because I told you I want this to be a meal. So we're going to add some fried plantains and I'm going to go ahead and add that. Go ahead and use potato fries if that is what you have available. So we're going to take this back into the oven and we're going to bake this at about 180 degrees for about an extra 10 minutes depending on your oven but what you want to achieve is you want to get that barbecue <laughs> look on your fish okay oh my goodness it took me about 15 minutes because i forgot but this is what we have oh look at that gorgeous it still has some juices that will help you. You know, when you break into your catfish, you dip into it. It will serve as a dipping sauce for you. And you have it to eat your plantain with. You have your vegetable to go with. And so, so delicious. Friends, this was so good that even while I was editing the video, I found myself craving more of this fish. And I will definitely make it again this weekend. So I go ahead and added some of my scallions just because I want it to look prettier. And of course, it packs a punch of flavor as well. Look at what we got here. I hope you give this recipe a try. Leave me a nice comment. Let me know how it goes. Okay. And enjoy with your family. They are going to love you for this. If you are a lover of catfish, oh, my friends give this recipe a try don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment okay see you in my next video oh my goodness oh yes i had to like have a piece right away as soon as i made that and it was so good so so good you want to make your catfish any other way